Hi, everybody. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture. I go by the nickname Ginger, and I love to say it's not cute not knowing. Let's start off with a hug. Needed that hug. I know I wasn't here yesterday because a, co a work colleague of mine passed away, and it was just a really busy day with TV and things, a legendary Tony Brown, who is at the radio station I work at in Philadelphia, WDAS, for many, many years. Uh, he hosted The Quiet Storm, incredible voice, a wonderful man, he and his wife, Sunshine. He had a radio career that went almost 50 years, and we just take time to remember Tony, but it was crazy, and I do need, I needed that hug. But we are here today, and Tyler Perry is getting into the world of the strippers. How many fans of P-Valley do we have? It airs on Stars. P-Valley, down in the valley where the girls get naked. Tyler Perry's show is going to air on BET Plus called All the Queen's Men. It's a strip club drama where it's uh, the owner is a woman. It's set in Georgia. And they're saying that these women are upscale. So, of course, I have to ask, what do they mean by upscale? The girls, they got the stretch marks and they're not putting cocoa butter on it and just showing it. Are they not considered upscale, but an upscale classy, but Tyler Perry, that's his next big project, strip club drama, all the Queen's men. Viola Davis, uh, next week, the Academy Award nominations come down, and if she is nominated, Viola Davis will be the most nominated black actress, at least in Oscar history. She, her name always comes up. Golden Globe Awards are this Sunday. Tina Fey, Amy Poehler, they're doing things from different coasts. The Hollywood Foreign Press is behind the Golden Globes, and a lot of people were upset with the Golden Globes. Like, why do they overlook so many, you know, African-American projects? And they, they got some good stuff, like Andrea Day. She's nominated. Chadwick Boseman, will he be the, the honor of the night? But did y'all know that there are no African Americans on the Hollywood Foreign Press? Now they said it didn't really dawn on them, and they're going to start working on it. Really? But there, there's, 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 there's not one. Speaking of Andra Day, tomorrow the United States versus Billy Holiday. I actually posted an interview that I did via Zoom with Lee Daniels. He's from Philadelphia. We've known each other for a while. He directed this project, and we had a chance to talk about why did he pick this project. He opened up about his own battle with addiction, and it was Patti LaBelle who helped him overcome it. Uh, someone commented, why does she keep saying it's not Billie Holiday? It's not Lady Sings the Blues, because it's not. And if you've seen Billie Holiday, please get that out of your head, because it's something totally different. Andra Day really embodies, I mean, really, she, she, she gets lost in this role where she lost 40 pounds for her, she got her hair, she loves her nails, and she couldn't have no nails. She immerses herself, and you really think for that moment that you are watching Billie Holiday. That's what I mean. It's a totally different storyline. If you keep going back, well, they did this and Lady Sings the Blues, and they're doing that. No, it's just totally different, and I don't want people to, to get it confused the way that Lee tells this story of Billie Holiday. Andra Day is amazing. It starts streaming tomorrow on Hulu. Spider-Man 3 has an official title, Spider-Man No Way Home. It's due in theaters in December. I'm hearing they're bringing back past Spider-Mans, Spider-Mans, past villains. You got Tom Holland, you got Zendaya. I'm a, I'm a Spidey nut, so I know that I will be there. Let's talk Tiger Woods. The 45-year-old golfer could have died. He, he could have died. He is so lucky to be alive. They say that they see it was an accident, so there'll be no kind of criminal charges because a lot of people was like, was he drinking? Was he on the pills? Will he ever play golf again? A leading orthopedic surgeon gave a statement today that said 
he not only can see Tiger walking, but possibly playing golf. His recovery is going to be a minute. He's got a lot of bones that are shattered in his ankle. That ankle part is just shattered. A 10-hour surgery where they had to put the metal rods in his right leg. It's a long recovery, and he has been through so much. In December, he had his fifth back surgery. He's had knee surgery. He's been having just a lot of problems, and it's almost going to be like he's going to come back as the bionic, bionic man, but this leading orthopedic surgeon. What do you think? I mean, that was a pretty bad accident when the jaws of life had to get you. There were some people who got in trouble for making disparaging remarks. Keep Tiger Woods in prayer. Halle Berry, she's got a new Netflix project called The Mothership. She's also uh, producing this. She's going to star. It's about a woman whose husband disappears. She realizes a spaceship under her house. So it's her husband in that spaceship, and she and her child <laughs> go look for him. Does that sound exciting? I don't know. Hallie also does a podcast, and she talks about her first kiss that she says was with a woman. She said she had a crush on this guy. She didn't know how to kiss. So she had a girlfriend volunteer. Well, I'm going to teach you how to kiss. So for a half hour, they practiced kissing so she would know how to French kiss. Hallie's been very open about a lot of things lately. Mission Impossible 7 is coming out in November. Then, in, at 45 days after movie theaters, it's going to wind up on Paramount+. Plus. The big entertainment story yesterday was Paramount+. Plus. Used to be CBS all access. They are rebranding. They're bringing back Unplugged. They're bringing back Behind the Music. Shows that were real popular on MTV. They're bringing back Yo! MTV Raps. I don't know if Fab Five Freddy is going to be a part of it, but these are some of the shows. They're bringing back Frasier with Kelsey Grammer, but it's a whole reboot, and they're going to be doing a lot of movies. Paramount Plus is yet another streaming service. Clive Davis, he is known for having his Grammy parties. They were doing it different. They were going to do it virtually because of COVID. Well, he then got Bell's Palsy, Clive Davis, the, the man behind Whitney Houston and Alicia Keys and so many careers. Janis Joplin, just so many careers. Well, he is going... He can't do it. And, you know, remember when Whitney Houston died and he was criticized for going on with the party and Whitney Houston was dead upstairs. Clive Davis, the music icon, has Bell's palsy, which is paralysis in the face. And I guess at 88, he's like, I don't want nobody to see me like that. James Burke of the Five Stair Steps, he sang lead on Ooh Child. He passed away at the age of 70. Jada Pinkett Smith has a skincare line at Target. It's starting out with toothpaste, deodorant, body wash, and lotion. Her husband, Will Smith, already did a, um, uh, something on social media about the toothpaste. She's also coming out with a skincare line. All products, check this out, under $6. Under $6, natural. She calls it, hey, humans. Hmm. Lady Gaga, got to keep her in prayer. Her dog walker was shot in the chest. He was walking her three dogs, which were French bulldogs. One of the dogs got away. Cops were able to round it up, but the other two are missing, and she's offering $500,000, no questions asked. 500,000, really, I mean, they shot the dog walker in the chest. Really, really tragic. Paul McCartney is going to tell all in a new tell all entitled The Lyrics, where he's going to have the lyrics of the song talking about his life. Okay, we'll talk about the Beatles breaking up. Why did the Beatles break up? Did Yoko Ono have a part in it? He was really tough on that. Uh, his He's married, but the woman before, the Heather, she had the baby, she had the prosthesis on her leg. And she was like, all he wanted to do was get high. And he was like, you're not getting any of my money. That was a strange 
situation. But what all is he going to talk about? Going from the Beatles to Solo with the group Wings. Y'all know I'm a music nut, but Sir Paul McCartney is going to tell all about that. Notori Naughton, she will be phasing out of the Power series because she is going to be joining Eve. Eve is going to be starring in an ABC hip-hop drama, Queens, about a group of women. They're now in their 40s. They were hot back in the day. It was all about sex and all this stuff, and they were raunchy. But now they've settled into adulthood. They get back together to see if they still have it. But Latori is uh, joining her. And Tina Turner, I'm going to tell you why I'm really interested in this HBO documentary. Of course, it covers her career with Ike. Solo career, movies, Hell, since she um, retired, she's had a stroke. She had to have a kidney transplant. She's been through a lot, but I never realized how she was abandoned by her mother. And I always say that children who go through that trauma of being abandoned by a parent, it stays with them forever. It looks, it looks really good. Tina Turner, the documentary, March 27th, HBO Max. You know what? There's so many streaming services. I'll be like, okay, which streaming service are we talking about now? It's good to be back here with you guys. And leave a comment. Yes, I'm getting to them today. I know they're saying, Pat, you've been saying it all week. It's just been a crazy week. But leave your comment because I do want to hear from you. Give us a thumbs up because we like the thumbs up and spread the word and spread the channel. It's not cute not knowing. Thanks for that hug, y'all. I needed it. I'm Patty Jackson. I'm your auntie of pop culture.